Thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them. Also, have celebrity gossips, trending topics, have lifestyle conversation, and so much more. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Ulua Oshanke. Hello. What's up? How you doing? How are you guys doing? Well, how are you? I'm blessed. You guys look good. I'm Thank counting you. down to knowing if there's going to be an extension or not. Mm. Like, I don't know. I, I believe there away. will be an extension because I don't know um, the debt rate. We've not been behaving ourselves. <laughs> no, I said that. that no, way. <laughs> um, the, uh, the cases are increasing by the mm. day, so I don't think we've been able to cover it as they thought they would have in mm. two weeks so i believe it's only right it's not even about behaving or not behaving and for behaving ourselves no nothing has been given to the um to nigerians to stay at home um, some have some have gotten some um, a loaf, measures, a, a loaf like, of bread and um one and no, super no, no, pack in gotten, ah, some, some, gotten, um, some of us some, uh, no, okay, some have gotten, um, rice <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah i know i know so, but yeah. of course it's not in comparison to yeah, the be. people that got very little stuff um, and like you haven't gotten any, and but yeah, it's okay. exactly is that <laughs> but in america whether you're privileged or not as long as you're an american citizen which is why i said i have dollars. not gotten they said they've given like Mohammed said they sent that no Nigerian is on view that they've given on your okay, so did, not did you take my share politics, please. Let's, if you let's took my share please let me know <laughs> <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith um, fears falling into old drinking habits during COVID-19 lockdown she has been sober for 20 years she said and I quote I have not had a drink in a long time but those psychological patterns that once would make me drink or make me look for solace outside um, myself are creeping back in these times are so uncertain for me i just had to dip in some of my spiritual practices and dip in my faith mm. Mm. I, I i think i can read it i don't have drinking issues but on the day of the lockdown i i got a bottle of um one of the drinks i would like to take right and for some maybe because i'm working i haven't opened that bottle and i know that if i was in the house I would have finished that bottle mm. and probably look for another one. And if you don't watch it, um, this is how people sleep into abuse of alcohol or abuse of whatever substance you take around mm. you. Even food. A lot mm. of people are abusing food right now because I like to bring it in that the only thing that can be abused is not just alcohol or drugs. You can abuse almost everything, even water. There are people that have choked um, from water, right? So I think this is a time that um, our self-discipline has to mm. come into play to make sure we come out almost the same way we went in or at least better yeah and um, there's some communities that are more susceptible to drinking alcohol as a culture and uh, i one of the communities i follow are the australians and they've had a very like high um function high i guess rates of people coming in for alcohol abuse because oh, wow. during this period mm -hmm. um when the lockdown was about to immerse the first thing they did was clear out the liquor store, not the grocery store, mm -hmm. <laughs> the liquor store. So, and then what you find is that a lot more people are um, coming in for alcohol poisoning and then also sober people like Jada who are relapsing mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of sad. Um, there's a lot of things that like, I think we mentioned on this table a lot of the times that this isn't, COVID is not the only enemy we have. There's a lot of people with mental health issues, people that have managed to like, you know, um, keep a healthy balance, but this period is so fair driven that a lot of these well i say demons come out to play so mm -hmm. I, i'm glad that she has something that's working for her in the sense that she wants to deepen her faith and i and I'm, I'm, she's with her family so i'm hoping that this if she has people accountable her mom as around. well has mm. been sober for 30 years so yeah, yeah. Both, there's a church yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. she's for 20 years and her mom mm -hmm. for 30 years and yeah. they're both but um, different drugs her. though yeah. her mom is, was an heroin addict and um she's alcohol mm. so Okay, so for me, um, there's a saying that and I don't mind there's the devil's workshop and um, this period, there's really nothing to do for a lot of people that are just sitting at home, especially people that um, have learned to balance or 
work out their depression or their uh, mental state by burying themselves in what they do. Right. Now, they're not able to go to do what they love. So you're just sitting at home, sitting there, you're trying to work online, but you work get distracted. Yeah, work from home, mm -hmm. you, then you're, you're getting distracted by kids, you're getting distracted by your neighbor's generator because um, the power supply has been terrible in some areas as well. Mm -hmm. Mine has been good, but um, in mm -hmm. some areas it's been really terrible because I, I know a lot of people that are complaining your neighbor's generator is there there's no money so it's it's easy for you to sleep into depression at this point in time so i can understand where jada is coming from i just hope she's able to battle this and mm -hmm. um she like you said she's with family and she has um something going for her like she does a red table talk and mm -hmm. i believe she can still do that because she does it within the confinement of her home right i'm guessing so, the staffs has the problem i don't know if she'll be able to do all the recording yeah, the whole production herself. but and still that. i feel like this is if this can, is somebody if can she didn't have mansion to give people is that jada should have space, of course yeah, i feel like so. she has a huge space she has enough um resources to keep herself mm -hmm. busy i think mm -hmm. um, i mean maybe she needs to look into that as well but yeah, i don't know but, if but you know together. the hours in which you would have worked when you have to go out there and get things yeah. done cannot be compared to the hours in which you would work if you're just sitting at home okay. so if i work 12 hours in the normal all day at home i'll probably be doing three four hours yeah, so, so i have a lot time. of time on my hands to do a Nothing. lot of other frivolities and so i think yeah. that is also why when we bring some of the celebrities uh, as guests now that we're doing practicing social distancing via skype um we try to ask them what their routine is so that those who look up to them will be um inspired um, by what they do so i think it is important to like i said kick in those self-discipline part of yourself and create a routine for yourself mm. and make sure exercising is part of that routine Bottom i keep talking about though. working out and exercises because it's not just about lockdown right now it's because it has helped me go through one of the very difficult moments of my life and if you can give yourself that time to just work out and i mean if you're doing one hour in the morning and one hour in the afternoon a whole two hours is gone and of course you have other things you're, you're doing that engage you as well so just create a routine and hang in there you'll be fine we don't want casualties i beg at least mm. we are fearing covid already mm. let's let's work and help each other and reach out also when people reach out to you if you have the time please make our time to have conversations with them yeah. okay moving on to the next story this is about naramali it says snitches on twitter will get you arrested and still want you to fight the government from now on it's just malians only let us listen to the government and give them our full support and this is coming after his um, charges were dropped and all that. That's his Twitter rant. I, uh, <clears throat> I expected him to say something worse or something more stupid. But I think this is stupid enough. Because yeah. are you saying that um, because we want you to we want you to lend your voice in holding the government accountable, then you will not hold yourself accountable or as well? Are you saying is that, that what because saying? you? Or are you also saying that because you're a celebrity, whenever you do wrong, we should just stand? Yeah, yeah. it's fine it's because fine. you're Naira Mali. Because you are holding yeah. the government understand? accountable. So it's, for it's, us. It's not a thing of um, snitches. You were in the wrong. People came for you. They would come for any other person that wasn't Naira right. Mali if he did I that. I mean, it's very clear so, what's happening. The politicians, the politicians have got each other's backs. The celebrities have got each other's backs. And then civilians are left to ourselves. I mean, there's no um, in-between. And it seems like if you cross one person's path, you cross all of them's path. And there's something about, like, your clouds just being really... I guess your, your judgment being really cloudy that you can't actually see the point of what's going on. To be honest, I, like I said, I expected him to say something even more stupid. <laughs> this is just, to me, this is even a lot more like... Yeah, for yeah. Because yeah. the second <laughs> paragraph, he said, listen to the government. So, yeah, yeah. So I, like, yeah but I think that, that, that came from a place of um, um, compulsion, like, right. because um, they said you need to put, put out an apology, work in an internet to create an, what's it called, awareness yeah. about COVID. So I think that saying, statement was just sarcastic in my opinion and when he's saying the malians i think he just he doesn't actually mean malians it means people who don't have an opinion and will blindly follow him well those are the malians really i feel like there's um, malians who, who who on this tape um on this subject didn't necessarily like approve of him even though they still gave their I, support I so. a, there is a well maybe in my head there is a proper definition of who Malians are, but because we as a people have seen the movement and it's fun, and we just decided to define it for ourselves and how, like Benny will say that he's a corporate Malian, you know, so mm -hmm. it's, it, he knows who the Malians are, and I think the Malians will not have an issue with what is it. So the proper Malians are the ones he's talking about, oh, not we that defining it to make it look cool for us to be a Malian as well. Okay.
okay. I'm not even a Malian. <laughs> Co corporate, so, <laughs> so mm -hmm. he can have fun with his with his Malians. But it's very sad if, if you're the celebrities are telling us indirectly and directly, especially like Brenner Boy saying that we shouldn't have an opinion or we should keep the same energy for. It's just a, a bit ridiculous. It is. I'm kind of it's disappointed. It's really sad that they feel this um, god complex because yeah. I'm a celebrity. So even when I'm in the wrong, just take it because I'm Naira Mali because I'm born a boy. It doesn't work that way. You're no, human. it doesn't. Yeah. So I think they they need to learn that they're also because if I did something wrong on his page, you probably call me out. Yeah. So why can't I call you exactly. out? He's not calling out to be dragon because once he retweets it, it's going it's going viral. But anyway, like I said earlier, they need to understand that um, you as a person, if you want to hold the government as a, a accountable, this is not just about celebrities right now. Mm. You also have to make an effort to hold yourself accountable and make sure you are doing the right thing because we say it on this table that we are the government. The government is not some form of alien or robots. They are human beings and it starts from you and I. So mm. if you can decide and live a corruption free life, then the next person might emulate you and then it goes that way, a ripple effect and maybe we'll, we'll have a better country one day, mm. right? Okay, let's go. It's like you don't believe that. I'm not going to hold my breath on that. <laughs> <laughs> we will definitely. Okay. Believe. Okay, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. This lockdown period has magnified so many social media challenges and games as those are one of the ways people get to interact and have fun this period. One of the social media challenges that is trending at the moment and has also attracted criticism is the one called Wife vs. Side Chick. The challenge entails a lady sharing two different photos of self. Um, the one which depicts the side chick is usually very sexy and attractive, while the one depicting the wife is more reserved and some would say unattractive. Former Big Brother Niger housemate Chloe joins the list of people who have criticized the challenge. According to her, it is the dumbest um, thing ever and it goes to show how badly some of you females uh, were raised. She questioned why people think men are happy in their marriage and why cheating is being glorified. She went on to say, and quote, if you did not watch your mother doing this, then you won't be doing it. It is all in your upbringing, end of quote. I wonder why, um, apart from what Chloe said, I wonder why a lot of people think that a wife should be unattractive. Mm. Do you understand? Because I've seen a lot of wives that I'm will spit ton heads anywhere they get to. Who defines attractive and unattractive for anybody? Do you understand? Uh, no, 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 no. Let's be real. There's but, but, I'm being real. Really as well. Like you can you know, know when you, something is somebody looks unattractive because unattractive isn't necessarily about your features. And if you're a pretty girl, mm -hmm. it's uh, everything like the package, the package and everything. And, the carriage, and it's very clear smart, that in this carriage. side of the world, a lot of women, especially my parents' generation, mm -hmm. I always look unkept. Like the image I, I remember unkept? seeing when I go to people's houses is rapper. Uh, in it. it. Thank you. Thanks. So she's, she was <laughs> right when she said it's about our uh, upbringing. No, I think what she's trying to say is that we have then. Um Comicalized that idea you, you and, missed causing, that and using that as a reason for cheating, which I think is the problem here. So even the men, the people that I saw with whatever, whatever, doesn't mean that the husbands are cheating. And the idea that the husband is cheating because you're not unattractive is where the toxicity for me starts. When I saw this on my timeline, I saw wives doing the challenge on their own. So they are the housewife and they are the wife. Mm -hmm. and they are the side chick. Yeah, so they kind of like married people joined in this challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think they kind of, um, you know, owned the challenge, saying that there's no side chick here. There's even some, you know, those three guys I that can carry play the role. <laughs> you know, those three guys that carry the coffin. That's mm -hmm. very popular. There's someone that you see, like, wife, and then mm -hmm. the side chick is those 
through basically saying <laughs> the yeah, person's going to die. <laughs> so I think people have owned it. it. It is a bit of a like it's not that deep. If you to know, me. if you decide to look at it deep, it can become deep. But in light of the situation on ground. Can we just look at it on the surface? Like, let's not let's not try to complicate things. I mean, I un I understand that as well, but it's important to also give that light because not everyone is playing the game in in being frivolous. Some people are actually doing it as a thing of like I'm owning my side chick space mm. and woe to wife, wife and type of thing. I think that there's a serious problem with that, and the the confidence that you have to even bring that out on social media is a bit crazy to me. But we've always had that um, battle between her and her. even when you're not married. There's girlfriend battles, there's side chick, you know. So like I understand where she's coming from, and I think I think that there is an underlining problem with but that. I like that you said underlining problem. I think if we want to start talking about that underlying problem we might not leave this table today because this same society that we live in nigeria let's take nigeria um as the case study is the same one that would see i mean i'm, I'm dressing like this now and nobody has have an issue with it because it is lc that is not married if tomorrow they hear that oh lc is mrs somebody and then i look like they see actually why is he dressing like this are you not married excuse so, me can, can, are you mrs somebody or are you mrs people because mm. it is that person no, I'm, I'm, that you're married to that you should I be care as long as your I'm husband just speaking, yeah, yeah i understand yeah, like I, I i'm just saying that the society doesn't count when it comes to marriages which oh, is why it does it huh? does it does society is one of the reasons why people even get married in the first place oh. there's so many people that don't want to get married but feel like society society is what tells you how to dress like my mom was just saying the other day that if i get because me i like skin i like to do singlets and things <laughs> and stuff so like, you know you just have to change your wardrobe the day you get married so like it's societal so that it's mindset thing. actually now yeah. now can feel Feed this challenge exactly. that's going on. Even though I don't want to look at it from the deep side, I just mm. feel like it's fun. I've been seeing pictures and I just laugh. But yeah, it's a situation we have in our society that you expect the wife to look a certain type of way. And once you're not married, oh, you can look anyhow you want to do. Yeah. I think before um, women get into marriages, first of all, they should go for counseling and they should realize. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, ap apart from counseling, or they should be able to know that, okay, I'm getting into this and this is about me and my spouse. That, it's yeah. not about what people think. It's not about what the society expects of me. I also so, don't know the, how this, your spouse is on the same page with you. Yeah, yeah, and then I also don't know how the men are not always dragged into into these conversations. There's um, no change of outfits. <laughs> top jeans and you top know, like, okay, You know, a faithful <laughs> husband or unfaithful husband, like what they look like or whatever. Because I don't know why they keep getting out of this conversation. Like, you find people saying that, oh, then why don't you hold the side chick accountable because the man is the one that's... Cannot hold oh, himself that, accountable. No, no, the man is the one that's bringing the third party into the into the thing. But I still feel like both of them are just as bad. I don't really go about the I, idea that it's just the man's fault. Mm. Even you as a person, you should have some... Uh, why can't I drag you into going and doing rape, rape stuff with me in the backyard? Like, there is some standard that you must hold as a person, married or not. Mm. So I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be dragged. Like, the... The side chicks shouldn't be dragged, but I think the men should be dragged as well. And because of this pressure the society puts on um, the women, the wives, I think that's probably why some men actually go out there to look because i saw a movie that no 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 no. i'm not trying to justify it. I'm, I'm coming from a movie um perspective now i saw a movie a guy wasn't cool with his wife always covering up and all that it was like when I, when i was dating you you used to dress really nice and she was like ah now that i'm married i don't want them to start saying that hey, look how i married you there's care. a problem because they don't even align the man, the man yeah. <laughs> how did they get married in that and, and then no no and then the, the lady was like i'm not a married woman no that i cannot be showing skin again and all of that well, you know, married to the then, man that was telling him right yeah. telling what? her yes yeah, she no. She used to be like the funky type, yeah, dressed nicely. They always, they always say and that, all that. They always say that a, a man going to marriage expecting that women never change, mm -hmm. and then women going to marriage expecting that the man will change. Mm -hmm. So there's always and guess that. What? Like, this guy started dating a friend. Please, there's uh, if I. No, it doesn't make sense. So because I stopped showing my body, then it gives you the right to date somebody mm -mm -mm -mm. else. Like. Okay. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying it gives you the right. Okay, I'm so just saying that there that should not pressure be a reason. Whatever issue for a man to change, talk it out. Fix, yes, fix it in the in the relationship. If you have to, no, if you have to a, create a, 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 a board. Whatever it is, you're not even moonboy. You know when you want to present a presentation right. on PowerPoint Honey, to present to your wife. But he, he, he spoke to her separately in that, that movie. He spoke to her about after dating his his. his no, friend. no. Before he started, he was like, "I'm not cool." Was he saying there's no reason anyway? But. Yeah, I hear some defensive. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm not so, like that. <laughs> the next story. <laughs> Rema is in the news again as he responds to a question asking um, how he became big in less than six months. He said, and I quote, I actually expected it because I worked really hard for it, having sleepless nights, prayed, gave my seeds, tithes, and left the rest for the Lord, which gave him no other option but to bless me. It is actually spiritual how I found myself in the midst of Don Jazzy and everybody in the blink of an eye. Everything worked very fast for me, end of quote. Do I hear daddy freeze? Hmm. Why are you dragging that freeze into no, Because I feel like that's something that the freeze will want to um, respond, to. respond to. Yeah, but I mean, he, he didn't just stop at, oh, I pay tight and all that. He went on to talk about how he worked hard. Mm. And he mentioned something that is also going to give some credence to the next story, if we have time to talk about it, that um, they don't post the hard work or the suffering that he had a lot of sleepless nights traveling going here and there all you see is the announcement and that oh he has signed this deal or this was is a happening barman in Ghana, but the hard a lot work of people didn't know that you know the hard work behind it but again how old is Rema? Mm -hmm. i checked and i saw 19. Yeah, 19. okay why continue <laughs> <laughs> the guy has also chat. no, um, no you know at some point he lost his dad and his brother almost at the same time okay. so he became the man of the house so mm. you know when you start taking responsibility from a young age you, you can become achieve, mature, yeah, you become mature i like where this conversation early. is going because it's mostly about mm. his efforts and his kindness mm -hmm. and not really about the tights because if you add spirituality to it then this conversation is very unfair because mm. there's a lot of people who are praying my guy doing not, not even just 10 percent tight they're doing 50 percent tight they're well, giving do they're understand. doing they're doing everything and giving god the reason not to bless them mm. i mean no other option but to yeah bless like them. you put it yeah, and they still haven't gotten that. I think that there's a lot more backing up to do than spiritualizing mm. it. I'm not saying that spirituality hasn't helped him and hasn't given him that drive and everything, but it's, it's almost unkind. And I remember when I came, came back to Nigeria, I was so sick of hearing that because I'll see people who I really admire. I'm like, how did you do it in this system? It's and I said, yes, God. God. Uh, no, darling. I mean, yes, yes, God helped you to drive that, but there's something that you did. And obviously, I like that's why I'm saying I really like this balance where he's he said, telling you what, also what, what he, he did, did, but it's unfair to say that because the people with a lot of faith hoping mm. for their breakthrough and it just has never happened and they're talented and they're having sleepless nights and they're you know what? faith, faith without it's the works. grace of god let's but faith like without that. works we need to wrap also up, you know so I but think there are that a lot of works with play. faith that has not worked that Thank is you. what she's trying to say but um just hang in there your time will come and that is how we wrap up this episode of tea time thank you for watching and join the conversation by using the hashtag tea time on social media or twitter to plus tv africa you can also catch up on this episode and all exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel and please do leave comments. You can also watch this time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshokeye, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please stay safe.